Good evening, everybody, and welcome. I am so excited to see this very fancy place filled practically to the rafters um, with people who are fans of a man we have come to celebrate tonight. My name is Deborah Norville, and I am honored and thrilled to be your MC for this very special evening. Thank you. Tonight, we are going to explore what it means to be um, a legend, because we do have a legend in our midst. And part of our celebration will include some unbelievable musical performances. And because you do not wish to miss a single note of this, because tonight we are exploring the unbelievable life and career of a man who, frankly, staggers me when I look at the accomplishments that he's achieved. He's a hero, a humanitarian, a composer, a maestro, and internationally regarded as one of the greatest pianists of all time. The Yamaha Music and Wellness Institute tonight honors Byron Janus with its Lifetime Achievement Award. And this evening marks the first of four times this year that Byron Janus will be so receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award. Four doesn't sound like nearly enough because it is absolutely staggering what his reach has been over the course of his professional life. Here's a quote from the New York Times from back during the Cold War. The New York Times said, if music could replace international politics, Byron Janus could consider himself an ambassador, breaking down Cold War barriers. There are few who have so pursued their passion as rigorously and reached so many milestones by overcoming their own adversity as the great and most humble Byron Janus. And so tonight, I feel like we ought to have that guy from the old This Is Your Life TV show up here because we really are going to be going through this man's extraordinary life. We're going to take you on a journey of a very special man. And by the end of this evening, the trip that we will have taken will, I think, leave each of you astonished at how multifaceted Byron Janice is and how appreciative all of us are of the gift of his music, the gift of his tenacity, the gift of his spirit has been to each of us. So Maestro Janice, I will start things off first with a letter from uh, Mayor Bloomberg. He wanted to be here tonight, but when you're mayor, everybody wants a piece of you, and, um, and we didn't win. But what we did get is a gorgeous letter, which I would like to read you, and I put it in plastic so I won't mess it up, because this is the real one that Mike signed. City of New York, Office of the Mayor, May 30th, 2012. Dear Mr. Janice, it is a great pleasure to join with the Yamaha Music and Wellness Institute and everyone gathered this evening at Lincoln Center in congratulating you on your many professional and philanthropic accomplishments. For a remarkable 69 years, your tremendous talent has thrilled audiences around the world and your constant presence on New York's performing arts scene has made you a fixture of our city's thriving cultural life. Throughout your distinguished career, you've dedicated yourself to achieving excellence no matter what the diversity, adversity rather. And your work with the Arthritis Foundation has inspired so many with your strength and creativity. A legendary pianist, composer, author, humanitarian, and New Yorker, you are more than deserving of tonight's accolades, recognizing a lifetime of achievement. On behalf of the city of New York, please accept my congratulations and best wishes for continued success. Sincerely. Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg.